Hello everyone, um, back with another video um, as a um, prelude to the next one and also a follow-up on, on the previous one in which we built a, a Cardano stake pool. So first of all, I'd like to say uh, thank you for all the comments. Uh, I'm, I'm really glad that uh, my video helped people uh, and uh, uh, I know uh, there's uh, there's a few um, there's a few of you who who built uh, their stake pools with the help of my video, so I'm really happy about that. Uh, yeah, thanks again. And so I, I decided to make uh, this video uh, on how to retire a stake pool. Uh, so as I mentioned in in the first one, we uh, built the uh, stake pool on Cardano Node 113 and I mentioned that 114 is coming out soon and it has been out for a while now so the next video is going to um, build, build a stake pool on, on that using some tools we haven't used the scripts that I mentioned in the, in the previous video uh, so just before that I wanted to go through one more thing uh, uh, one more uh, skill for the stake pool operator and that's uh, how to retire a stake pool so let's retire the stake pool we created um, the process is is actually quite simple uh, how do we retire, uh, retire a stake pool uh, well how did we register it with a transaction so we'll just build a transaction and we'll submit our deregistration certificate with that transaction and that's going to be it so um, a quick overview we're going to uh, create our deregistration certificate we're going to specify which epoch we want to retire the pool in and we're going to build that transaction submit it and at the end of the epoch we specified the uh, pool will be retired one uh, thing to note is that it does uh, require our cold keys to uh, to create our uh, deregistration certificate. So uh, as we know, you know, working with cold keys, we should be careful and we should do it online. Ideally, uh, we should do it on offline. Ideally, uh, to prevent uh, the cold keys from being exposed to the internet. But as this is, you know, the test net, and uh, just for the purposes of the video, it's much simpler to just do it uh, the same way we did it in the previous video uh, but just one thing to note working with uh, cold keys be careful try to do things offline and not expose them to the internet uh, so ideally we would create our uh, deregistration certificate or offline and then just upload the deregistration certificate without the cold keys as well as uh, as well as the transaction um, so yeah let's get started let's connect to our uh server with the with the um stake pool and this is what uh, this is the cardano node directory that all our stuff is in so our address and, and nodes and stuff um so yeah the first thing we have to do is figure out which epoch we're in so that we know uh, you know we can decide which epoch to retire it in and um, we can use this this line of code which just uh, reads from the genesis file uh, the, the length of the epoch so our uh, genesis file is uh, ff uh, genesis and it's located in the relay well, it's located in the producer as well, but let's use the relay now. So if we ls relay, we'll see that the ff genesis is in here. So if we run this from the Cardano node directory, we'll get the epoch length, uh, epoch length uh, 21600. So that's fine. So now we know the length, but how do we calculate uh, which epoch we're in? Well, we can query the the blockchain to see the the tip and then we'll uh, divide uh, the tip by the epoch length and that will give us the current epoch so first of all uh, let's so this will be uh, get epoch length 
and the next one uh, query the tip uh, so to query the tip we need to export the node socket path uh, that is a little bit different for us so we got relay slash database slash node socket with a dot um, so that's fine and then we query it and uh, uh, be careful so we have to have a, a node uh, running to query the blockchain uh, I have mine running in the multiplexer so um, this should work there we go we we get the tip the the slot number we're currently on so we can just store that here and uh, how do we how do we calculate? So we take the tip and we divide it by the um, by the epoch length. So we will do an expression in the terminal. Just take the tip divided by the epoch length, and that will give us epoch one o two. Um, great. So now we know uh, the current epoch. We have to decide which epoch will retire the pool in. The rules are you have to retire it at least one epoch in the future uh, from this one so the the soonest uh, we can retire it is in epoch 103 and the uh, maximum number of epochs in the future you can give uh, is defined in the protocol json and uh, it's uh, defined as 100 we can check that our, our protocol json is in this folder so this will work fine uh, and we have a hundred <clears throat> so that means the rules are you have to retire your stake pool at least one epoch in the future and not more than a hundred in the future so um, we, we'll just specify uh, that we'll retire it in 103 as in, we're in 102 now um, yes we got that and yeah we we know when we want to retire it so we can start building our deregistration certificate we'll uh so build or create um the registration certificate and we'll use uh, this command from the CLI. So one thing to note, as I said, we need the pool keys, but if you remember from the pre previous video, our pool keys are located in the pool keys directory. So if we just ls that to make sure, we'll see our cold keys in here. So uh, we need to specify the correct path, which is pool keys forward slash cold key verification key and here in epoch we specify the epoch we want to retire the pool in so that's going to be 103 now and the out file that's going to be created is pool dreg so that's fine we just copied this wrong and let's control c uh, there we go that should have created the Let's clear, let's clear this for better picture. So if we ls and uh, grab, uh, so we, we called it pool.dregister, and we see that the deregistration certificate is now in our folder. We, we just created it. Okay, great. So what do we do with it? We, uh, we, we build a transaction with it, and we... Uh, submit sign and submit the transaction and, and that's that's about the whole process so let's uh let's calculate the fees first for the transaction so uh we got uh one one in that's going to be our address we got one out that's also going to be our address so it's going to be we, we'll pay with our address and we'll send the change to our address uh, time to live TTL so we need to specify where which slot number this transaction should uh, happen so this is our tip so we can increase this by a thousand to give ourselves some time um, and uh, 
this is fine signing key payment desk key that's in our cardano node directory so that's fine but again the cold key is in our pool keys uh, directory and the certificate we created is pool direct that's fine protocol json is also in the same directory so that's all good we'll get the minimum fees which is this number and we can just store that here um, we calculated the fees so let's see how much uh, how many funds we have uh, in our address so we'll query it using this and cat payment address uh, that's that will work because our payment address is in our current uh, directory cardano node so here we go this is how much we have this is our transaction hash and all that so um, we have we can we can have uh, current funds let's say and then the change we need to send back to us from the transaction is going to be our what we currently have minus the fees we pay so that's going to be equal to something and you know we can just write expression get this it calculates that thing for us and we can copy it here and we got our change so we got the fees we got the change that's that's all we need for the transaction so let's build it build the transaction uh, we're gonna need our TX in which will be our TX hash from our address this one so we'll just paste that in and the hash zero is the zero we have here so that's fine no need to change that uh, the TX out is the change we'll, we'll, we are sending back to ourselves to our address and that's going to be the change we calculated time to live is when this transaction should happen so we already specify that here fee is uh, the same so that's fine uh, the out file is the transaction file the raw file that it's going to create and the certificate file is the one we want to submit with this transaction which is the the deregistration certificate we created so that should work fine if we ls and grab the tx raw it should be there as we just created that's great all we need to do now is sign the transaction and submit it so let's sign uh, the transaction first we are signing the raw file we just created we are signing it with our payment uh, signing key and we're signing, signing it with our pool keys the cold key uh, cold signing key and the out file that we're going to create is tx signed so that's all good and now if we ls again and grab let's see if the sign is there of course it is and uh all we need to do is just submit that now we've we we've created it we've signed it we did everything we just need to make sure that the transaction file uh, matches what we created and we know it does so that that's uh, that's it we submitted the transaction and uh, as we specified at the end of uh, epoch 103 our pool will be retired now a little thing to note is that you know this is cardano no 113 so actually the epochs don't even uh, transfer over anymore uh, so it's epoch 103 is not going to happen uh, but that's fine the process is the same for everything so it was just about you know building the uh, transaction submitting the certificate and that's it that's the process of retiring a stake pool 
so that kind of concludes this video and uh we uh yeah i will i will try to uh get the next one as soon as possible and that's going to be using some very cool uh, CN tools, uh, scripts from the uh, Cardano community that was built by the community and uh, they will help us uh, get our stake pool up and running faster and easier to maintain. Uh, so yeah, pretty much we know uh, we've covered everything uh, manually. So once we get to the scripts, we'll, we'll, we'll know what they're doing. And uh, I guess we'll, we'll get to appreciate them uh, even more. Um uh, so yeah that's it uh, thank you for thank you for watching and uh I'll see you next time good luck and uh, have a have a good day